Hello, hello, and welcome to the reading and writing lessons. Today, we will discuss it again another pattern of development. So, we're then with narration, description, and definition. So today, we will have the classification and exemplification. We will still discuss compare and contrast, cause and effects, problem, solution, and the last will be persuasion. So let's start with the question, what is classification? So when we say classification, we group things or ideas into specific categories. Or we divide things into groups, classes, or categories. And also, we can organize ideas into different divisions based on the criteria or standard. How can we identify a paragraph as a classification paragraph? Here are some words that you can use to help you identify a classification paragraph. And words that signal for classification paragraphs are another, classified as one kind, last group, and the others. This is an example of that paragraph using classification. What is exemplification? So exemplification means giving examples. Meaning, if you're writing a paragraph using different examples, justifying your ideas with the different examples, you are making use of an exemplification paragraph. In this type of essay, examples act as supporting materials to explain or clarify the generalization. These are the different signal words for exemplification. And to have an effective exemplification paragraph, you have to use facts, events, Statistics, people, samples, quotation, anecdotes, or other kind of specific items to make a general statement more understandable, more clear, and more convincing. Here are the features of exemplification and classification paragraph. The structures of these essays usually begin with, of course, a topic sentence or main idea, then use more vivid examples to prove the point to be true. Effective examples should enhance the writing. It should give vitality and intensity. Here are the different ways of making use of examples in the exemplification paragraph. You can use examples to illustrate, to explain, to tell a story or to describe. This is an example of a paragraph that illustrates. Another example of a paragraph that explains. A paragraph that tells a story and a paragraph to describe. So examples can vary in length. It could be brief or extended. The question is how to write an exemplification essay. The examples used in your essay must be relevant, that they must be direct to the point. You can find as many examples as you can, but include only those examples that are strong, that could represent more the idea that you wanted to develop. Do not use examples that might contradict your ideas. How to write an exemplification essay? First, you have to decide on a topic. Second is to determine the purpose of your topic. Think about your audience. You can make a list of examples, then choose best 
examples from those lists, then you can start writing the thesis statement, write the introduction, write a well-developed body, then arrange your example logically. You can use transition words and at the end, write the conclusion, a concluding paragraph. So you can make use of this outline. You have the introduction, the body, and you can have, you can include as many as three examples, then write the conclusion. That's just how to write an exemplification paragraph. This is an example of an exemplification paragraph. Hmm. I like the example. And for your writing activity, your task is you are a sales manager. A customer sent you an email asking about the different types of products you sell. You need to respond to the email indicating the classification of the products. Your message must contain the product's category and specific features. That's all for today and Stay tuned for the reading and writing lessons.